We haven't had one big toy dominate sales this holiday season, so you can easily find what you need. But that wasn't the case 25 years ago. Nintendo's Go Go Walking Dogs and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were all in short supply. So for our Thursday throwback tonight, we go back to the Christmas season of 1990 to find out why. That's a pizza baller. It's a pizza baller. To a four-year-old, the Ninja Turtle aisle can be the closest thing to heaven. That's what you want, let's say. This lucky boy found what he wanted, but other turtle paraphernalia seekers haven't been so lucky. Penny's catalog, Walmart's, Kmart's, Toys R Us, uh, Lionel Play World, um, any of those marts. Any place that would sell Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, we've looked. Store managers are predicting more toy shortages this year because predictions of a sluggish economy have caused retailers and manufacturers to cut inventory. What is this considered an extra? And it's a lot of people, uh, a lot of the people in this industry are afraid that they're going to be cutting back. Uh, and it's really not happening. You know, people are still buying toys. People are going to, their kids are going to have toys for Christmas one way or the other. Here at Toys R Us, you'll find a lot of items marked down for clearance. That's because another major chain called Child World has just lowered their prices to scrounge up some emergency cash. Right now, Toys R Us has captured 25% of the retail toy market. But with competitors lowering prices, they're doing everything they can to keep customers like these coming back. Even though there is no child world around here, price cuts are spreading to other Chattanooga toy stores. Well, I just heard about the sales and uh, just decided to come out. While stores are lowering prices, don't expect any deals on the hot toys. Retailers know parents will pay just about anything for that Nintendo, Ninja Turtle, or Go-Go Walking Pup. Stephen Roof, New Center 12.